Hello, welcome to our channel. In this video you will get in detail knowledge of new key features and enhancements of Java 8, 9, 10 and 11. Let's start with introduction, Java 8, 9, 10, 11 and beyond delivering new features to the JDK. JDK 8 had come up with so many new features like Lambda expression, functional interface and so on. Post that Java 9 got released in 2017 with a very big change is the introduction of modularity. Then after one year of Java 9, Java 10 got released in the year 2018 with some new features and some enhancements of local variable type and garbage collection. JDK 9 and JDK 10 are feature releases of Java. Feature release means we will get only to scheduled updates. Java 11 got released in 2018 and Java has open sourced some of its close source parts of JDK through the open JDK release. JDK 11 also has removed so many packages from it. Like applets, JavaFX, web start, etc. Next, see the overview of software design. Now let's discuss some of the key features of all the latest versions of Java starting from JDK 8 to JDK 11. So, I will give a brief overview of all the main features of all the JDK's versions but the detailed technical explanation of each feature with a programmatic explanation will be published in our coming videos. Just go through the below concepts of the features of Java 8, 9, 10 and 11 for getting better clarity on each feature and its usage. Now, let's understand with Java 8 features in detail. The first feature of JDK 8 is Lambda Expression. This is a powerful feature in Java 8 using which we can write a few lines of code and do a lot of work. The main goal of the Lambda expression is to introduce the benefits of functional programming to Java development. A Lambda is an anonymous function in Java. That is a function that does not have a name, return type, or access modifiers. Lambda expressions are also known as anonymous functions or closures. Below you can see the example for this. Another example here with two parameters, you can see as below. First you can see the example without lambda expression and second you can see the example with lambda expression. If the compiler can derive these data types, then we do not need to specify the types. A, B, dash, SOP, A, multiply, B. There are various advantages of lambda. Using a few lines of code, we can do a lot of work in Java. And it is easy to implement anonymous inner classes. Also, we can pass lambda expressions as parameters to other methods which is very powerful as well. To implement lambda in Java 8, Java 8 introduces the function interface. We need to use functional interfaces to express lambdas. Second is functional interface. If an interface has one and only one abstract method, then it is called as a function interface and that abstract method is called a functional method. An example of an inbuilt function interface is the runnable interface which has the run, method i, an abstract method. Another example is a comparator interface in Java which has a compare to, abstract method. Starting Java 8, we can also add default methods to the interfaces which I am going to explain in this video also. We can define any number of default methods in a functional interface but there should be one and only one abstract method. Java 8 also provides us with an annotation called at functional interface. If we mark our interface with this annotation, then we can only define one abstract method in that interface. Your compiler will raise error if we try to add more than one abstract method. Functional interface is required to implement lambda expression. Below you can see the example. Third is default methods, starting from Java 8. We are allowed to have default method implementations inside interfaces. We have to use the default keyword to create a default method. We can override our default method in our child classes or we can use the default implementation if we do not want to override. You can see the example here. Here, in above example, we have overridden the default method m1 in our child class. So. The output of the test class, 
if we run, will be m1 inside b. Now, fourth is predicate. A predicate is a function with a single argument, and it returns a Boolean value. To implement a predicate, we have to use the predicate interface introduced in Java 1.8. It is a functional interface with only one abstract method that can take in any type of argument, but as I said it always, should return a Boolean value, below you can see the example. Since it is a functional interface, we can express it as a lambda expression. Below you can see the example. We can use predicate when we have the requirement to evaluate a condition to filter similar or collections of objects. Next fifth is streams. Using streams, we can process the data in a declarative manner very similar to that of SQL. It makes very easy for us to process the data or objects inside a collection. These streams are not the same as java.io.st reams, which is meant for reading writing files, the stream interface introduced in Java 8. The stream is an interface in java.util.st ream package. We can get a stream on a collection by invoking the stream method, which added to the collection interface in Java 8. Once we have a stream to process the collection, we will do it into steps. The first step is configuring the stream. We can do the configuration into ways, first filtering, wherein we invoke the filter method, pass it a predicate which will evaluate into a Boolean expression as you already know what a predicate is. The object of the collections will be filtered out based on the predicate. Syntax of the filter method is shown as below. The filter method will return the stream which has the filtered out object. Second is the map method. The map method on the stream again returns a stream, but this time it does not take a Boolean expression. But it takes a function instead. Below you can see this, this method will create a new collection or a new object for every object in the collection. So if you want to suppose you have a requirement wherein you have to create a new set of objects or new sets of collections based on the input, then you will use a map. It will map each input to a corresponding output object. If you simply want to filter, then you use the filter method. The second step is processing, which means processing the data itself. The stream API provides various methods such as collecting, counting, sorted, min, max, etc. to process the data. We have understand main features of Java 8 in detail. Here in this image you can see the all features of Java 8 in one frame. Now, next we start to understand the features of Java 9. Java 9 offers many cool features, with many additions to existing features. The new thing is that Java 9 brings in modules which is a great way to code and configure your application. It also brings in HTTP to client which makes it easy to make HTTP calls or RESTful calls from our Java code. In Java 9, linking is a great concept for microservices app development. Using linking we can link only those libraries that are required for our application to work instead of bringing everything inside the JDK or a particular library. We can link only those libraries that are required for our application to function. Java 9 introduces JShell. It gives us a shell type environment of our own where we can type in our Java snippets. The first feature of Java 9 is instance private methods and static private methods in interface. Starting from Java 9, we can create private methods in an interface and can also use that private method inside of the default methods so that they can reuse certain functionality that means common across them. As you can see below example. The private methods inside our interfaces can also be static. The use of the static method is when one of the default methods is static then in that, the case if we have to call the private static method from the static default method. You can see below example. Next is improved try with resource blocks. The try with resource block which was introduced in Java 1.6 in that we cannot use the resources that are defined outside this try with resource block like below, it will give you an error. But starting from Java 9, 
we can define our resources anywhere in our code which are auto closable then we can use them directly in the try block like the below next is immutable collection before java 9 if we want to create an immutable sets lists and maps that means immutable collections then we have to create that collection first and then pass that collection to the collections dot unmodifiable set list map methods which are a long process java 9 simplifies things for us like below list list is equal to list dot of sun moon here you can pass any objects to the list dot zero f method and what it returns is an unmodifiable list similarly we have set dot of method and map dot of methods all these are immutable collections now next is ethereum safe args enhancement before java 9 we could use the safe variable arguments annotation only on static methods and on final methods and not on private methods starting java 9 we can use this annotation on private instance method as well next is new methods in streaming api dot the streaming api that was introduced in java 8 gives us a great way to manipulate collections java 9 introduces more methods to the streaming api it enhances the streaming api methods like take while drop while and a static method called off nullable next one is jshell dot another cool tool that was introduced in java 9 is the java shell or the j shell jshell is a repl tool which stands for read evaluate print and loop without creating any java classes with main method we can quickly start typing our java code and see the output of it under your jdk if you go to the bin folder then you will find jshell you can use it directly from your terminal window and type in jshell then you can enter into jshell mode and try and test your java code next is modules in java 9 Java 9 introduces Java platform module system. A module is a bunch of packages. It is just like a jar file except for it comes with a module info.java. So, every module we create will have a module info.java which can use to different things inside it i export and requires. These two offers a lot of advantages over a jar file. So, Using export we can say which packages inside this module we want to expose out to which other modules. Using requires. We can depend on another module. We have to specify what other module packages this module needs. It was not possible in case of a jar file. Using modules we can specify what all are required right before the application runs so that the JVM will check if everything and then only it starts the app. So, using modules we can get rid of no class day found error. With modules, we can exactly specify which version of the dependency we want. In a jar file, everything is public, whatever is there in a jar file. We cannot restrict. But modules give us additional security where we can tell which functionality within this module should be exposed to which another module. In earlier Java, they have rt.jar which have all the dependencies, but now in Java 9, they have split them across the modules. Now next, we are going to understand the features of Java 10. Unlike Java 9, Java 10 is a minor upgrade. It only has a couple of super cool features we will discuss here. The first feature is defining your variables using the var keyword like JavaScript, but not exactly like JavaScript. The second feature is there are minor upgrades to the collector's API. So, when you do the streaming on the collections, you can now create an unmodifiable list or set. First feature of Java 10 is using var keyword to declare variable. In Java 10, if we want to declare an integer variable or a float variable then, we do not use to specify the type, and simply we can use the var keyword and can assign the value. Example is as shown below, var is an inferred type. If we define the variable using the var keyword, the compiler will infer the type. If after assigning one value to x here, and then if you want to again assign a different type like x is equal to xyz, then the compiler will throw an error. But this var is not a keyword actually because in Java, if you create a variable name as var then it will not show any error. 
This is for backward compatibility Java has made like this. Next is collector's API changes. Java 10 has come up with some enhancements in the collector's APIs. Suppose I will explain with an example. Suppose we will create a list of integers using the list dot of method like below. Now suppose we want to filter out all the values inside the list which are multiples of 3. So, we can use list new list is equal to list dot stream dot filter i percent 3 is equal to is equal to 0 dot collect collectors dot to list. So this we can do with Java 8 or Java 9. But if we want to restrict this new list so that we cannot do new list dot add 30. There were no such restrictions before Java 10. So to make a list unmodifiable, then in Java 10, collectors have a new method called town modifiable list or set or map. So we can write our code like the below. Now next and last we are going to understand is Java 11 features. Java 11 shows the advantage or the power of frequent small releases. The first two features revolve around strings and then we have a feature on the optional class, then some deprecations and removals. In Java 11, first feature is string API updates. Below are some new string API updates. First is is blank method. This has been added to the string class. If a Java string has any number of blanks inside it then, this method will return true. Even if the string contains a single blank, white space, also string str is equal to, then the is blank method will return true. If the string has at least one character with any number of blanks, white spaces, then the method will return false. So, the new is blank method helps us with the blank strings. Second is lines. This new method in Java 11 returns a stream of strings by splitting the string using the new line character when the string has a new line character inside it. Example as below. As the lines method returns a stream so we can write our code using collector like below. So, the output we will get is, I am the creator of this blog. So here the lines method returns a stream of strings which we are putting into a list. The lines method splits the string wherever the new line character is present. Third is strip method. The existing trim method does not have Unicode support. Suppose I will append the white space in Unicode u to 0 0 0 to a string, then the trim method cannot remove the white space. So to remove the Unicode white space, Java 11 introduces a new method called strip, which removes the Unicode white space. There are two variations of strip method i.e. strip leading method and another one is strip trailing. So, these two methods are for removing leading white spaces and trailing white spaces, respectively. Fourth is repeat method. So, Java 11 introduces repeat method. If we want to repeat a particular string for n number of times, then we can use this repeat method. x system.out.println dash dot repeat 100. It will repeat the dash character 100 times and will print in the output console. Next feature is file API updates. Java 11 makes it super easy to read and write strings to and from a file. File has the write string method which takes a path as input that is a file path and their character sequence i.e. nothing but a string of characters that want to write in a file. This method returns a file path where the file gets created. Below you can see the example. So here this write string method returns a path on which the file created to which it will write the content in a single line. Now for reading the contents of that file, Java 11 provides another method called read string which read the contents of a file and returns the string. You can see the below example. The next feature is is empty method on optional class. Java 11 also provides is empty method on the optional class. It is very useful when you are working with reactive programming when you work with Spring. Where when it returns an optional type, then we can check if it is empty using the is empty method. Below you can see the example. The above line will create an empty optional string. Before Java 11, if you have to check in the above line if the str variable has a string inside it or not, 
we will have to use the is present method to see if the str variable has a string value inside it. Now in Java 11, we have is empty method for this. Now if we have to execute certain logic on the basis of the str variable has some value or it is empty then we can directly use this is empty method. In our case str dot is empty will return true. So in another example below, this will return false as the str variable is not empty. It contains the string mano. Next is deprecations and removals. Like every other version, there are some deprecations and removals in Java 11. Java 11 has removed certain packages like java.xml.ws, java.activation, java.transaction, java.xml.bind, and java.corba. All these packages and classes were part of the JDK earlier. All these were deprecated in an earlier version of Java, but in Java 11 they are completely removed. So, your code will not compile if you are using any of these if you are relying on JDK. But if you have a Maven project then you can grab these dependencies from the Maven repository and you can still use them. But these are no longer part of JDK in Java 11. Finally, I want to say that, here, I have explained the most important features of JDK 8, JDK 9, JDK 10, and JDK 11. The theoretical functional overview I have given through this video. So you can study each new feature or enhancement of the latest Java in your Eclipse or IntelliJ or any IDEs to get more clarity on the aspects of Java programming usage of this feature. For more information contact us as below, our email id, info at agesoftic.com, our mobile number, plus 919-824-172020, our address, Royal Square, first floor, office number, 110, near, Shilp Tower, Tagore Road, Rajkot 360001, Gujarat, India. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment down.